hot. Okay, okay. I too wish I could be one of those strong, independent women who suddenly become self-sufficient, but I can't. Feel free to disagree. Mom, we got a 10-hour car ride ahead of us. We got a lot of time to disagree. Cause you got to turn you around, then put your feet on the ground. Now take a hold of your soul. Our life keeps holding me down. <laughs> singing and I thought aren't we the song that we sing don't we raise our voices to let the world know who we are and what we believe so I asked you this morning what song are you singing we've only been here two days and already Chicago seems a million miles away we were barely hanging on there, especially with my father gone. There's not too many places we could stay. But maybe mom can find a job that's steady. And maybe I can stand it for a year. Then maybe things won't be so bad. And maybe I won't miss my dad. And maybe we could start a new life. Oh, start a new life here. But if Walt Whitman were alive today, what song would you hear America singing? I turn on the television, and all I see is music of easy sexuality and relaxed morals. I listen to the rock and roll, and I hear the endless chant of pornography. And I ask, why would our Lord allow this? We know that our God has the power to turn these records and books, these easy tapes into one big fiery cinder like... But he doesn't. And why? Because our Lord is testing us. He's waiting to see if we'll follow his path. So every day we must ask ourselves, have I done the right thing? Have I done the right thing? Picking up my life, packing up the past. That's always frightening. Have I done the right thing? Join with you this morning in welcoming two new souls just arrived from Chicago. It's Ethel McCormick and her son, uh, Ron, is it? Ren. Speak up, son. Let the Lord hear your voice. Ren. Ren McCormick. 
Ren, that's an unusual name. Is that short for something? Nope. There's rumors going round about the new kid. And everybody's talking till they're blue. Cause you know how a stranger is. If he's not dumb, he's dangerous. But either way, at least it's something new. Please join my Wi-Fi and my daughter Ariel in this morning's convocation. Mrs. McCormick, your sister has certainly been excited about moving in with them. You know, Lou and Wes have been a rock. <laughs> oh, it's been no trouble. Ethel just moved right on into the guest room. And, Ren, where has your uncle put you? Uh, you remember the tool shop uh, above my garage? Oh, Wes, that place is a greasy dump. <gasps> well, no more. Picture this. Powder blue wallpaper, chocolate brown carpet. Oh, no. Oh, yes. When will Mr. McCormick be joining us? Mr. McCormick won't be joining us. Oh. My husband and I are separated. He ran off to find himself. Ren, oh. please. Bye. Bye. I made some of my Toll House cookies. Lulu, you try one of these and you'll burn every recipe in your kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Won't you join us, Mrs. McCormick? Eleanor wants to show us what heaven tastes like. Oh, please call me Ethel. Only if you'll call me Vi. <laughs> Send me a cookie, Ethel. So, Ren, are you ready for school tomorrow? Oh, we took care of that last week. Coach here got them all registered. Yeah, Robert, did you hear about this little English teacher? Playing an interview for the vulgar novel for an American Lit program? Slaughterhouse Five, yes, I've heard. Slaughterhouse Five! Cool book, cover to cover. That's some bitchin' story. Slaughterhouse Five. Right? Yeah, it's a classic. Uh, do you read much, son? Maybe it's a classic in another town. In any town, Uncle Wes. Tom Sawyer is a classic. Excuse me, Daddy. Rusty and the girls are going out for burgers. Can I? Tomorrow's a school day. Daddy. Ask your mom. We already did Reverend Moore, and she said it was okay with her if it was okay with you. So is it okay with you? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Oh, and great sermon, Reverend. Thank you, Rusty. What you said about Walt Whitman and rock and roll and listen to the music in your soul. I mean, I was like, wow, who knew? High prayers indeed. Gentlemen. I, on the other hand, thought my daddy was never going to shut up. Well, then, Russ, Ariel, why don't you just talk to him? Why? It's not like he listens to me anyways. And I, uh... Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Vermont. Howdy. <laughs> Ooh, you are cute! Wendy Joe, isn't he cute? Uh-huh. I betcha he knows he's cute. Don't you think, Wendy Jo? Uh-huh. Oh, you got oh, that oh, sweet stuff. Oh. <laughs> Put your tongues back in your mouth and let's get out of here. See ya. Where are you going? Where do you think? And if the question ever comes up, 
I was with you girls all evening, right? Are you asking us to lie for you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.